guys, and welcome back to Art a la Carte, and in this episode I'm going to show you how to draw a cute baby deer. Let's get started. So for this deer I'm going to build up using my basic shapes. I'm going to start with the head here, which I'm going to use just a complete circle here. And then right along the circle I'm going to bring in its neck. It's going to be looking straight at us, so I'm going to bring this line down for its neck. And then I'm going to put this arch shape right over here, and this is his little his little back. In fact, I'm going to bring this arch up just a little bit higher. You're going to notice that I'm drawing really, really lightly. That way I can move things around. If you don't like this line, you can just go ahead and move this. One thing that can cause a little extra frustration in an artist is if you, when you make a mistake, you stop and grab your eraser and erase the mistake first and then go back to draw. It just adds that frustration because a lot of times then we don't see the line that we made the mistake for and we draw the same line again. I don't draw, I don't erase the mistake right away. I fix my line first and then I can go back and erase the line that I don't want anymore. And it just helps me not to go so frustrated. So here's my line here. So I want this little neck right there. And this is almost going to be like a jelly bean shape, just like this. So we have this weird jelly bean sha shape with a little leash, a circle. <laughs> okay, so this doesn't look like a baby deer yet, but it will. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw in my legs. Very similar bone structure to like the horse. So here's the shoulder up here. It's going to come back to the back elbow and then come down. Now, depending on how brand new your baby deer is, it's going to have very wobbly legs. So I'm going to have mine just bent just a little bit at the knee. So it comes down here to the knee and then bends down just to make it look like it's a little bit more unstable. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Bring this leg out and bring the leg. With this back here, here's the back hips. I'm going to bring it here for the knee there. Bring it back to the back, like the hock or the ankle. And then they have very long spindly legs back there. Same thing over here, this leg here, back here, and down. So you notice I'm just drawing them using stick figures. Um, just to get the position correct. I'm not worried about, you know, getting the shape in there or the muscle in there or anything like that. I want to first make sure that they are in the right position first before I add any of that detail. So once I have that down there, then I can go ahead and continue on. I'm going to add in just some oval shapes here just to kind of represent where my, my ears of my deer are. These two deer little ears. And then I'm going to go ahead and work on the face. So the face I'm going to make across, I'm going to cross the face, I'm going to go right down the center of the circle. This is going to divide the head in half, one eye here, one eye here. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide the circle again, but not in complete half. You'll see it's kind of like if this is half up here, I'm going to go down just a little bit, boom, right about there. And my eyes are going to sit right on top of this line. The reason is because I'm making a fawn, I want to give it a larger forehead. That's going to give it that cute baby factor. Um, it's going to help me portray a little bit more of a, of a baby there. And then right down below this, I'm going to put a circle here. It's kind of like it's sitting right here on the inside ring of the, of the circle. So this is nose. And I'm going to bring down, drop down just a little bit of a square shape underneath, and that's his muzzle. So there we have the basic shape for our little deer's head. It's such a dear little head. It looks like some sort of weird mouse, like there's a little mouse teeth. <laughs> okay, that's creepy. Don't be creepy. <laughs> so the tail, I'm just going to have it just hanging down a little bit. He's a little nervous. He's not going to have his tail raised or anything. He's like, are you my mother? And then again, because I'm having a pretty fairly newborn deer, I'm not going to give it a lot of muscles. When they're first born, they're just so much leg and just no muscles. So it's really going to come in and then just follow through with the with the bones and the tendons, just like so. So there's one little leg, and then two little legs. Back here is going to come back to the kind of the back elbow, and then down the leg here. And when it gets to this knee joint here, it's really going to significantly thin out from there. Got a little bit more muscle up here in the upper leg than it does down here. The last thing I want to do before I start cleaning up my drawing is I want to fix my ears. So right there in the center, I'm going to make this V shape here. It's going to come up and over and up and over. This is going to kind of show how the ear flaps kind of fold in around, make this kind of cylindrical. And the ears themselves are kind of like a rounded diamond shape. Just like that. And the same thing over here.
Now I can kind of fix up the eyes just a little bit. I'm going to put some little tear ducts right in here and I'm going to wrap the eyes up and around. And then you can kind of put in the pupils however you want. Now depending on if you want to make this more of a cartoony deer or a realistic deer, this is where you would spend more time. I'm going to make a little bit more of a cartoony deer. I'm going to put some eyebrows in there and some little eyelashes. For its muzzle, I'm going to round that, now that box shape. I'm going to put a little bit of a rounding to it so it's not so boxy. So there we go. We have our finished basic structure of our baby deer. Now this is where we're switching. We're not looking for the shape so much. Now we're looking for the detail. You can do this part with a pencil or I'm going to be going in with my marker. This is a good place as well to add any like tufts of fur. So like here at the top of the head, instead of making just a straight line, I'm going to add just a little kind of zigzaggy line to indicate some little fur up there. Just like so. Just have fun with your little deer. For the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and draw in some circles inside the pupil area just to kind of give it some shine. So then when I go back to add a little bit of color, it's going to pop those out, make them look a little bit more like they have some expression. There we go. I wouldn't worry too much about making the opening of his mouth. Shade in the nose a little bit. I'm going to leave a little shine mark on the nose to kind of give it a little dimension. In his ears, you can kind of put some texture lines in there. And just keep on inking him in. if you want to but I really want mine to be in grass so that's a fun way to kind of um, to draw some grass is just to flick your pencil up in kind of a not a uniform pattern you don't want every flick to go the same exact direction on him our little fun is of course drawing his little spots. I'm going to put that in using color so I'm going to switch over and color him using my Spectrum Noir markers because I need to practice those out. <laughs> I would love to see your fawn drawings, so make sure to post those to my Facebook page or Instagram. I'd love to check them out, or also to my Deviant Art account. And if you haven't checked out my video where I talk about my Deviant Art account, I'll put a link to that in the description box below, along with a link to my Deviant Art. You can see some of the old drawings I used to do and some of the new ones I'm doing. It'll be lots of fun. We'll hang out. We'll chat. We'll do lunch. Whatever. Hmm. I just want you guys to know how dear you are to me. <laughs> no pun intended. Well, maybe a little pun intended. But you guys are super special. I love you all so, so much. Thanks for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Write you're so dear in the comments. And let me know that you stay to the end of this video.